<laughs> you you had your event at uh, in Albania to launch the book at Enver Hoxha's villa, um, and there was huge outrage about this. But you know, I remember attending art exhibitions there a, a, a few years ago, and there was the whole point of having this exhibition there was it, because it would have been something that he would have hated, you know. And there was no sort of outrage about that. But you you had your book launch there. It was attended by politicians. It was shortly after the de the uh, demolition of the National Theatre. People were still very sensitive about that. Um, will you be holding your next book launch in his villa? Well, it depends a bit on the contents of the book and on the writing process. I can't say now because the book no, is not over yet. I'm still <laughs> writing. I chose the um, Enver Hoxha villa because I had thought about Dante and uh, the way in which in Dante there is this what's called the legge del contrapasso, the, the law whereby someone receives in death the opposite of what they did in life. And I thought if a member of a persecuted family comes to talk about the left and about the future of progressive thinking in Albania in the house of someone who tried to suppress exactly that, there was this kind of Dantean element and this uh, ironic subversion, which is the same kind of ironic subversion that the book performs as well when talking about communism. But again, you don't expect everyone to necessarily engage or understand or to be willing to accommodate your reasons for doing something. So I think it's, uh, I, I accepted the criticism and uh, so I, I can't say that I won't do it again next time. No, it was, depends a bit on... Um, Sort of joking it slightly there. But. Depends a bit on the content of the book and uh, mm -hmm. on and also the other thing to say is that often these decisions on where, to, well not often, always the decisions on where to hold a book launch are taken by the publishers. Mm -hmm. So the author has usually is consulted very little, has, and this is the same case in Britain as well, who you invite, where you do it. Um, yes, there is an element of involvement, but it's mainly conducted in cooperation and in dialogue with the publisher. And in the case of my Albanian launch, everyone was invited, members of the opposition, of the government, of the arts world, of the writing world, and I was actually a bit surprised after the launch happened how much focus there was. It seemed a bit like a kind of Albanian wedding where people say, who came? If, he, if this person comes, I'm not going. If this other, And I was a bit surprised that there was so much conversation on who was there rather than what we were there to discuss about and on the contents of the book rather than on the show and the performance and the, the images. And I actually had not expected this at all. This was a bit of a surprise when I came, but maybe also an instructive features. Now you are publishing or due to publish a new book in early 2025 around springtime um, and I know you're not allowed to sort of divulge too much about it but from what I understood it could potentially be delving more into your family history it could be touching on some of the same periods of time as free. Um, now putting aside the the less constructive criticism that you've had from the first book Will you approach this new story? Are you approaching this new story with the more constructive criticism in mind? Is it going to, are your experiences with Free and its reception going to shape in any way how you will write this book? And if so, how? Um, I actually really enjoyed writing Free and I found myself at home in this hybrid way of writing between philosophy and politics and literature and uh, memoir. N the next book is not a first personal account because it's not about my life, it's about my grandmother's life and although it touches on communism, a lot of the events unfold before the arrival of communism and one of the efforts in the book is to explain how and why did communism in Albania acquire the features that it acquired. So, and I'm under strict orders from my editors not to say more about the actual contents of the book but uh, in some ways I could see it being exposed to some of the same criticisms because I've always in my work been interested in structures rather than individuals and I don't think individuals are either black or white I don't think there is good and bad people I think there is good and bad circumstances and in that sense the book tries to explore constraints by circumstances on different agents in different historical periods and to explain their motives, what morality they develop under those circumstances, what compromises they make, what choices they make and so on. So it's about the kind of tragedy of action in particularly constrained circumstances as they were in Albania even before the arrival of communism. So I could see that the book might, uh, and since it touches on some issues and again it narrates a history of a persecuted family with uh, some of the elements of the story that unfold during communism, although in the very early years, it might be open to the same criticisms, And um, but we'll, we'll see. I don't think I will change anything in the way of writing it just because it's been criticized. Mm -hmm. I think when I write, perhaps there will be some of these criticisms that I might have internalized and absorbed and they will show in the writing process. But I think it's not, uh, usually it's not a good idea to be dogmatic in your writing, to think, okay, I've been 
or, or even to think about the reception too much. Actually, as an author, it's really important to write freely and without worrying about whether the book will sell, won't sell, will be successful, will be criticized, will won't be criticized, because I think that take away some of the freedom of the creative process. And so I think I will give myself the same freedom and might expect some backlash or might not. People might be more generous having understood the motives. But mm -hmm. again, I don't think, you know, an author should write and then let the book do their work. And, and let the book also get criticized and debated. And I think that's hopefully productive in Albania and more widely.